Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Deborah from Diamonds Jewel by Deborah. Today is box three of the seven piece DIY designer box. This one is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So it cost $120, but with tax, it's about $130. Okay, let's see. Let's hope we got some good stuff. Air pillows. Alright, give you guys the first look. Alright, let's break into this bad boy. Hope everyone's having a good day. I am. It's nice and chilly here in Chicagoland area. So I get to wear the snuggly clothes. I'm so excited. All right, first up is a purplish blue dress. This one is Karen Miller, England. I've never heard of that. Karen Miller, England. Tag's really dirty. Definitely need to clean that uh, UK 10, which is a UK, uh, US 6. It's got some dirt here. It feels like a satin. It's pretty cute. Let's see if there's any other stains besides on the inside. It's hard to tell. The hardware looks okay. Here there is a scratch on the hardware. It is lined, side zipped. We'll see what side or what kind of material this is. It feels like a satin. So let's see. Oh, the tag's out. And we do have one other tag here. This one was a sample. It's called the Laura. It's from 2006. It is from the Smart Collection. Dry clean only. But I do not see what the material is. Okay, interesting. So I will definitely need to be looking up this. Here's the tag again, the Karen Miller. It's very pretty, long sleeve, good for fall. All right, so that one's a mystery to me. Next, we've got a St. John Sport, which is fine. I'm happy with that. Sweater vests are back in, but this one is a tank vest. I don't see a size. Here's what the logo looks like on the back. It's a basic black knit tank. Pretty with pink, white, and yellow. Or, yes, it's a yellow-orange. This one is Wool and Rayon. And it's from spring of 2005. So it's almost vintage. But that's a nice basic. All right, white. I always cringe when I see white. Okay, this is, I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to do, just says made in Italy here. With this tag, I don't know if anyone recognizes this sort of tag. It is a white, it looks like it's a linen blazer with pockets, or I'm sorry, with shoulder pads. Okay, it is a Victor and Rolf. That is a new to me brand. Here's what the tag looks like. For being white, it looks pretty good. I don't see any noticeable stains yet. So, let's see. Some discoloration here on the neckline. Long sleeve, super cute detail there. I really like that. And it is lined. Looks like all the buttons are there. So, okay. I have to do some research on that as well. And the rest are shoes, and let's hope they're better than the last box. All right, we've got a pair of Chloe. Cute sandals. 
They're like a beige crock print. Super cute. Pretty good condition. There is some wear here on the toe. And on here, I'm not sure if that's dirt or if it's wear. It looks like it might be dirt, and there are scuffs. It's a Chloe size 40. Let's see what the other shoe looks like. Chloe is good. This one has the same kind of uckiness here. So I'm not sure if that's just where it came off or if it's the leather kind of discolored. So those are definitely sellable. All right. Next we've got Aquazara Frenzy. Cool. Looks like somebody must have paid like five dollars for these. Probably at a Goodwill or a, another thrift shop. These are great brand, size 37. And here's the beautiful pineapple logo on the bottom. Let's see if they're in pretty good condition. What I'll do is save these. Once I clean them up a little bit, they're a, a suede. I will send these into the real reel. I just sent them a pair of boots that I had received. And they sold for $375 on the real reel. So if I can clean these up really nice and get these ink marks off, then these will go to the real reel. The bottoms are what you expect. They've been worn. Looks like the straps are good. Size 37. There is some toe wear that I'll have to clean. So, all right, that's good. Next we got Oscar de Laurenta. Wow, these are, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> they are really discolored. This is a pink, and this feels like a wood. I know it's not wood, but it feels like it. I'm like a wood wove, and there's a lot of color missing from that. They have been well-loved. Cute tassel. Here is what the logo looks like. These are a size 41, made in Italy. Returns will only be accepted if the sticker remains attached. It's still on the bottom. So they don't look like they've had a lot of wear. But from the discoloration on the toe, they've been worn a lot. So I don't know if they're supposed to look distressed. They are sellable. Oscar de la Renta, if they were better condition, I would send those into the real real as well. All right, the last pair of shoes have been well loved. They're Miu Miu, M-I-U, M-I-U, in a black patent leather. These are a size 35 and a half, made in Italy. The bottoms have definitely been very worn. The shoe itself has some scuffing. Right here is some discoloration. Patent leather is one of the harder items to clean. The heels are in okay condition. You can see there's wear here on the heel bed. But sound they are. So they just need a definite good cleaning. They are sellable. They're not too bad a shape. So this back box was, okay, I'll make my money back on it. Uh, there's only maybe one pair that I'm really not sure of due to the discoloration. But yeah, Mew Mew, black leather is number one. Oscar de la Renta in the pretty pink. It's like a rose pink. It's really a beautiful color. And, Size 41, it might actually fit me. I wear an 11, so I'll have to try those on. And then I got the Aquazara, which is fantastic. As long as I can clean those up well, they will go into the real reel, but I will not send these in until the spring. Then we got the Chloe, which are in okay condition, just some wear here. And then the brands I had not heard of before. 
the pieces I haven't heard of before are the Victor and Rolf. There we go. So that's good. It looks pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I have heard of St. John Sport. Super cute. And the Karen Miller UK blue satin dress and a US size 6, a UK 10. Very pretty. So I will definitely be looking up and seeing what sold comps are. I will do like with the shoes. I will see after I clean them what I could potentially make for them. Or, you know, see if it's going to be better for me to send them to the real real. But I will need to do some cleaning up on those shoes. So I want to say thank you so much, you guys, for always coming back and leaving comments. Let me know what your favorite piece is. And let me know if you've heard of these brands before. We all learn something new together. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hit subscribe all. That way you can see when I upload the next two boxes. And the number four box is the one that I had filmed and I had major issues with. And I talked the thread up. And I did get a refund on two of the items. And I will show you guys why on that video. So make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And you guys have a great one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.